Hello, today is Feb 17, and today is the birthday of my beloved father, Dr. Silverio Pompiaga. Uh, I opted to greet you through a video message so that I can post it in Facebook so that all my friends can greet you also a happy, happy birthday. So, happy, happy 66th birthday, my beloved daddy. Uh, I also opted to be spontaneous about my message. So I was thinking of what gift I can give you at 66. And uh, materially, of course, the first thing that comes into mind is material things. I know that uh, you have anything and everything you need and want already. And if there is anything and everything that you want, I'm sure that you can afford it. Or you can even afford it more than I do, even when I'm earning dollars here. So what can I give you? Uh, at 35, probably, uh, what I can give you as a gift is the assurance that I am doing well here. I'm okay. Uh, I am doing well with work, uh, with my day-to-day -day life. I'm, I'm trying to open my horizons and uh, sharing my, my talents to others. So that's one of the things that I can give you. Uh, and along with that is, of course, the assurance that all four of us are doing well with the lives that we have. I think as the eldest, uh, as one of the eldest, uh, I can assure you that all four of us are doing okay. Indai, myself, Jobert, and Nene, with the lives we've chosen, we're doing well. Of course, there are problems there are issues, we have difficulties. Uh, but I can tell you that one of the things that we're thankful is you've taught us how to be strong. That kind of strength that comes in silence. Can be stubbornness sometimes, but you know, that character which is not shaken by ad adversities, by, by troubles. That kind of, of strength that comes from the mind and yeah, it also teaches us how to survive all the difficulties in life. And I'm sure that when I when I went here, one of your concerns probably is, can I survive being alone? Because I know that I was so dependent on you and mom. So that's why part of my assurance is I'm doing okay. I've been learning how to live my life by myself. I'm learning how to cook uh, and all these things. That's because of how you brought us up also. So thank you for that. And on your 66th birthday, I think that's one of the, th the, the, the things that uh, we can look back and be thankful of. And we can always give it back to you. That, that, that gratitude that you have given yourself so much rigidity to work for all of us. That is why I think right now that you're 66 and you're old already, uh, it's time for you to let go, lessen the rigidity, and enjoy life with mom, of course. Uh, you have more time, I'm sure. I know that both of you are still busy, but busy because you are sharing more yourself to others, not only for us, but for others already. You're, you're also expanding your horizon. But yeah, uh, you enjoy life already with mom. You can go on dates. You can go to Smallville. You can go to the beach. You can tour. Both of you. I think mom would be interested about that. It's like, yeah, uh, you've been giving yourself to us every day when you go to work. And now it's time to breathe. 66 years old. So, yeah. If I'm enjoying my life at 35, declaring myself that I'm old already, how much more at 66? So to my beloved father, with all that, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Miss you and love you.